Hi friends, I'm Steve Russell, sales manager for Evergreen Digital Showroom in Lebanon, Missouri. We like to say we're a place where the rare and unusual is normal, and I think our portfolio of vehicles proves that. One of the best parts of my job is that I get to talk cars with people from all over the world. A question I'm frequently asked involves how many different makes of vehicles we have in our portfolio. We have a large representation of the common marks that one would expect, but we also have brands that some of the most ardent car people have never heard of. We recently sold a 1939 Steyr. Now, I knew Steyr made guns, but had no idea they had manufactured cars in Austria prior to World War II until I started researching that specific vehicle. A couple of the popular finishes to the do you have any question ends with Porsche or Lamborghini. Yes, we do in fact have a couple of vehicles with the Porsche badge and one vehicle made by Lamborghini right now. What you need to know, though, is that instead of world-class cars, two of these units are tractors. Yes, back before Lamborghini and Porsche became known as manufacturers of legendary supercars, both companies produced farm tractors. And legend has it, the main reason founder Ferruccio Lamborghini entered the auto manufacturing business was because of a rather heated dispute he had with famed Italian car maker Enzo Ferrari, but I'll get to that in just a minute. Lamborghini Trattori was founded in Italy in 1948 using materials discarded from World War II to make its first products. The company was in competition with established brands like Fiat, Trattori, and Landini. Their first models utilized a Morris engine with a fuel atomizer patented by the founder Lamborghini that allowed the vehicle to be started on gasoline and switched over to diesel for further operation. Now the fuel atomizer was a feature that their competitors did not have. In the early days the company was able to produce one tractor a week but by 1950 that output had quadrupled over 200 units per year. In 1951 the company produced a tractor for the first time that was built completely of Lamborghini parts with the exception of the Morris engine. Production capabilities increased exponentially with the construction of a new factory in 1956. Cars entered the picture in 1963, as I said earlier, supposedly because of a disagreement with Ferrari founder and patriarch Enzo Ferrari over an alleged faulty clutch in a two Ferrari 250 GT owned by the Lamborghini founder. The first production Lamborghini car was introduced in 1964, and by 1966 the company was producing the world-class supercars it's famous for today. This is a 1958 model DL30 Lamborghini tractor, and while common in Italy and other European countries, these are relatively rare in the United States. Experts, experts estimate that less than 1,000 Lamborghini tractors ever reach the U.S. market, so despite the recent rise in popularity of vintage tractors, you likely won't see many of these in the United States. We also have a Porsche tractor, but in reality, Porsche tractors were never actually manufactured by Porsche. If you're confused, let me explain. When Ferdinand F Porsche founded his famed engineering company in 1931 in Stuttgart, Germany, most of the work was done under contract, an example being his design of the Volkswagen Beetle. The firm also created designs for German military vehicles and along the way developed plans and designs for tractors. The outbreak of World War II put the tractor plans to the back burner in favor of work for the German war effort. Now, at the end of the war, Germany was devastated economically and socially, and from an infrastructure standpoint, the company was ravaged. Under the provisions of ger surrender, German manufacturing was tightly controlled, and only companies that had manufactured tractors prior to or during World War II were allowed to resume tractor production. That left Porsche on the outside looking in, as they had never actually produced a tractor from the plans and drawings they created. Two companies met the requirements, Allgaier in Germany and Hoffer Schranz in Austria, and they began manufacturing tractors designed by Porsche under license using Porsche diesel engines in 1954. Two years later, German conglomerate Mannesmann purchased the rights to the Porsche engines and designs, and soon had converted a former Zeppelin factory into a state-of-the-art manufacturing facility, producing tractors bearing the Porsche nameplate. Production of the Porsche badge tractor continued until 1963. This particular tractor is a 1958 Super, a 38-horsepower model. The company also made models with 14-horsepower, 25-horsepower, and 50-horsepower during the 1956 to 1963 time span. 
While both Porsche and Lamborghini are world famous today for the cars they've built in the past half century, it's interesting and ironic that each company owes at least a measure of their success to agricultural tractors. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. For a look at a sampling of the vehicles we have offered for sale, check out our website at www.evergreendigitalshowroom.com. Have a great day. Oh, and by the way, the question on how many makes we have in the collection? 77. Bye.